The Mighty Network platform can be used to offer a premium membership as well as online courses that are available to people who aren't part of the premium membership. This video tutorial is going to walk you through how to structure a Mighty Network to support this model and show you a real life example of this type of Mighty Network. I'm Marcia Chadley and I'm here to help you be successful using the Mighty Networks platform. The key to setting up a premium membership in this way is to understand the building blocks that you use in creating a Mighty Network. Think of the Mighty Network as a building. Everyone has access to that home area, the green room, and that's how they get to the side rooms. Those side rooms are optional. They represent groups and courses in your network. So anyone who is a member of your network who wants to be in one of those courses has to also be able to be inside the main area of the network, the home area. You can choose in a Mighty Network to charge for access into the full network, into that main area, and or into any of the side rooms. The courses in the model we're talking about will be found inside those side rooms. Because people are purchasing those courses without having to be part of the premium membership, we don't want to put the premium membership in the home area because people have to be part of that home area to get to the courses, to get to those side rooms. Instead, we'll put the premium membership in one of the side rooms too. Now I'm going to suggest you put it in a course structure. You could put it in a group structure if you want, but a course structure has everything found in the group, the activity feed, the events, the topics, and it also has a table of contents. There are so many things that you can use that table of contents for to support a premium membership. Now I haven't forgotten about the home area and we're going to get back to that in a little bit. But first, let's look at a real life example of a network that has a premium membership inside one of its courses. Here we are inside my network, the CLC neighborhood, looking at a list of everything that I have put inside the Mighty Network course structure. I've renamed courses in the left navigation bar to be programs, partially because I offer both courses and other things here. You'll see at the top of this page, five days to happier new members. That's a free self-directed course. Sometimes I have courses for sale here on this page and I have a premium membership. That's what we really want to look at here. The studio online co-working community with a subscription price. If I click more details, you can see more about what that is and actually come in and purchase it. So let's go inside and see what I'm doing there. Here is the inside of the studio. I want to show you how I've used the course structure to set it up for a premium membership. Because this is a membership, when people first enter the studio, I want them to come into the activity feed. And that's what's happening here. So they can take a look at what's going on. I've renamed the table of contents in the studio to be the studio library. I use it as a reference section, as resources for people in this premium membership. I have a member guide, have some Zoom recordings, resources and information about Zoom, Mighty Networks, pricing, video resources. You can use this table of contents to hold whatever kind of reference materials and information that you would like your memberships to have. You can have events, you can have topics, you can set this up to fit whatever you need for your premium membership. Let's talk a little bit about the home area of the network. That area that people come in when they enter the front door of your network. Remember, Everyone will have access to this area, whether they're part of the premium membership or they're just taking one of those other courses that you're offering. So you want to think about what you want to have there. It's important that you and your members understand what goes on there so that you understand the network. You might have that area be free. You might have there be a small membership fee. Again, it depends on what you're going to do there. Let's look at one specific example and then talk about some others. I have a free public network that we call the neighborhood. 
And we call this home area the community center because it's where everyone can interact and where things that I think that all the members would be interested in can be found. I've set up a variety of different topics that help people, the neighborhood guide, all kinds of different topics that I think everybody in the neighborhood would enjoy. Now, I am the only person who can post inside this, this part of the network inside the community center. The community center, you can think of it as like a blog post, social media kind of experience where I post and then people comment and interact in that way. You could also use the home area of the network as a lobby, a place where members can find directions to your premium membership and your online courses and announcements and general information that you wanna provide. You might use the home area as kind of a lightweight membership area. It could be free or with a lower price than your premium membership, but a place where people can post and do some light interacting. There are lots of options. If you have more questions about your particular situation or the Mighty Networks platform, I enjoy helping Mighty Network hosts in my neighborhood and also privately with one-on-one -on -one support.